Welcome to our new video. Today we will be going for some maths from this book. This is Edexcel Maths B official book. Uh, this is for the students who are going for basic maths. And basic maths I think is for all the students. So we will be starting with algebra. This is unit 1 algebra. And we will be going from some easier maths to difficult maths gradually. Okay. So this is uh, from page number eight. Let me first give you some preliminary idea before doing this math. Let's say we do exercise number seven and number 30. Num math number 30. Exercise number seven, math number 30. What does it say? It says 3BA minus AB. 3BA minus AB plus 3AB minus 5AB plus 3AB minus 5AB. Now, to do this type of maths, first of all, we need to understand how similar or like terms work. Let's say if this is 3A minus 2A, then these both have got the same variable a so here if the variables are same we can subtract this will be 3 minus 2 only a but what if instead of a we have a 2b here then what to do we could not have done anything this is your final answer because you cannot subtract variable A from variable B or vice versa or you can add also. <clears throat> now let me give you an example of how you, if you have two variables attached to a number. Let's say 3 B A plus 4 A B. Let me just give you an idea like this. Let's say both are BA. Now it is easier to understand that both are BA. So of course you can add it because both are same. It will be 7 BA. But what if the chronology of the variables are changed? Let's say 3 BA plus 4 AB. Then what to do? The answer will be same because whether you write 7BA or 7AB, the answer is same. Because this AB and BA, ultimately all these variables are of the same value and in multiplication form. Basically, this BA and AB is the same thing. You can write BA plus 4BA. Instead of writing this, you can write like this. Or instead of writing BA, you can write AB here. So if it is B, A, or A, B, let me give you another example. Let's say 2 P, Q plus 3 Q, P. Same goes here. This is Q, P, and P, Q, same thing. Even if the chronology is changed, P comes first here, Q comes first here, not a problem. P, Q, P, Q, same thing. You ultimately get 5 P, Q. But if you have 2PQ plus 3AB, or let's say 3PB, you have P here, PQ here, but you have got PB here. Then this PQ and PB is not the same. You cannot add, you cannot subtract, you cannot do anything with these type of different variables, different set of variables, that, that's what I'm trying to say. So here, these are, these are the main basics to solve a math like this. So now you tell me, 3B, A, A, B, A, B, A, B. All these are A, Bs. So instead of writing this one, B, A, you can convert it and you can write it 3, A, B, minus A, B, plus 3, A, B, minus 5, A, B. Okay, now you write the plus sign ones together and minus sign ones together it will be easier to do. Let's say 3AB plus 3AB minus AB minus 5AB. 
ultimately this is 3 plus 3, both are same, all, all the uh, terms have got same, similar sets of variables, but 3 plus 3 will be 6 AB, and here, if you do not have any number, any constant at the beginning, we consider it as 1. So this is like an invisible 1 in front of this minus AB. So minus 1, minus 5. Both have got set ABs. So minus 1, minus 5 will be another 6 AB. Now this 6 AB minus 6 AB, ultimately your answer will be 0.